how can you know which web hosting company is going to be a perfect fit for your online business? Well, in this video, we're going to compare three of the best and find the perfect fit for you and your business. You know, there are tons of web hosting companies out there. There's tons of them on the market. How can you know which one is good or which ones are good and which ones are not so good? And trust me, there are some not so good ones. Well, I've done a ton of research, vigorous research. Quite honestly, I've spent years and years and tons of money over the course of, you know, the development of my own businesses and uh, working on my own projects and my own ventures, trying out different web hosts, trying to find the best fit. And truth be told, all of this started out as a way to figure out what was best for my businesses. But I realized there's tons of people out there who need to know this information. Where can they go to also find great web hosting? So I spent a ton of time and a ton of research, and I've been able to narrow it down to just three top choices that I can confidently recommend for small business owners or even medium-sized business owners, even large business owners, depending on your needs and the kind of business that you're trying to run. The idea here is to narrow down your choices. You know, there's hundreds of web hosts. Let's try and narrow them down. Get rid of the ones that are no good, that are that are ill-suited or perhaps don't offer the best service and really give you a starting point to find a great web host for your online business because obviously you're going to need great hosting for your online business. Now, I want to mention here too that these three recommendations are each web hosts that I use myself personally for my various online businesses, web projects, web ventures, and so on. So, each recommendation comes with my own personal or I'm I'm recommending <laughs> I'm recommending hosts that I use personally myself. That's what I'm trying to say. The other thing too that I want to mention is that each of these recommendations that I'm making here nails our three biggest hosting concerns: cost, reliability, and customer service. So use these recommendations for yourself as a starting point for your own research, for your own online projects, online businesses, and so on. Now, what are these three recommendations that I'm, you know, mysteriously not alluding to? I don't mean to be mysterious about this. I just get rambling about other things. The three recommendations that I can confidently make that I use myself personally are as follows. Web Hosting Hub, SiteGround, and WP Engine. Think of these as like small, medium, and large. And what I want to do here with you in this video is I want to compare these three recommendations to one another to, again, give you a starting point, give you sort of a sense of which one of these three is going to be a perfect fit for you. Now, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we compared them directly side by side? How about we put the three recommendations right across the top, maybe something like this. And as I say, let's call these small, medium, and large. And, you know, maybe what I should do is I should even maybe get myself out of the way. There, that's better. And what should we compare? How about a list like this? So we'll compare skill level. So that's your skill and your comfort level with web design. We'll compare cost. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. How about the refund policy that they offer? How about the hosting offered? Now, what I mean by that, hosting offered, what I mean by that is what types of hosting does the web host offer? If you're unsure about this, by the way, check out my post, The Six Types of Web Hosting for Your Business. I'll leave a link to that for you in the show notes down below. But to help you out here, if you're just starting out and if you think your needs are straightforward, then something called shared web hosting is going to be perfect for you. We'll talk about this in just a second. Now, upgrade hosting. What do I mean by this? Well, does the host allow you to upgrade to a different hosting type as your needs and as your business grows? For instance, from lower cost shared hosting, for example, to more expensive and more powerful managed hosting website hosting. Anyway, that's what I mean by that. 
Okay, what else? Built-in email. Does the host provide email with their service? Even though I recommend separating your email from your hosting. And if you want to know more about that, check out the show notes. I'll leave a link there for you as well. This could be of interest to you, though. You may want to have built-in email or you might want to explore why you don't want to use built-in email. Anyway, check the show notes there. Okay, what else? cPanel interface. This is another consideration that could be of interest for you. If you don't know about cPanel, it's an easy-to-use control panel that allows you to manage your website, install software, set up things like FTP, and so on. Okay, next, multiple websites. I don't know if you know this or not, but some hosts allow you to run more than one website from a single hosting plan, which is super cool. And this could be of interest to you if you want to run more than one online project or online business. In fact, I have a tutorial that shows you exactly how to set this up. Once again, head to the show notes down below and I'll leave a link for you. Okay, website backup. Not a huge deal. In other words, does the host allow us, uh, does the host provide for, I should say, a way to automatically back up our website? And I'm saying that this isn't such a big deal as we can set up website backups ourselves. I'll show you how to do that in a future tutorial, but it's good to have nonetheless. SSL certificates sounds kind of technical. Well, if you want to be able to accept credit card payments online, then you're going to need an SSL certificate that secures the credit card transaction. Once again, I'm going to point you to the show notes down below. I've got a tutorial on that. So uh, next, CDN, Content Delivery Network. A short explanation of just what the heck a CDN is, is it copies or creates multiple copies of your site and stores them on various web servers across the globe, allowing your site to run faster for visitors. That's kind of a, that's kind of an awkward <laughs> definition, but hopefully you kind of get the gist anyway. Okay, next, staging server. A staging server is a powerful way to handle updates and test changes to your site. Maybe you want to run an update, something like this. Once again, check your show notes down below. I've got something on staging servers for you. And then we have site migration. Some web hosts offer to move your site from an existing host to their services. So it's like moving your website. And this could be of interest for you. Okay, so those are the things that we're going to be comparing. Now, let's draw in some grid lines and start comparing these three hosts and find one that's going to be a perfect fit for you. By the way, I'm not including things like security or web hosting reliability or customer service because all three of these choices are all top notch. All have 24-7 support, 365 support. They all have very secure servers. They're all incredibly reliable. Again, I'm using them all for my various projects. So those things are, are kind of, they go without saying, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And notice, no mention of things like unlimited disk space or unlimited bandwidth and so on. That stuff, truth be told, doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's start with skill level. If you're just starting out in web design and with online business, Web Hosting Hub is a great choice. They're simple, they're low cost, they're easy to use. SiteGround is a great choice too if you're just starting out. I'd say they're for beginner to intermediate level experienced users and online business owners. And then finally, WP Engine really is intended more for users who are a little bit more experienced with web design, with dealing with managing websites and web servers and online businesses, that sort of thing. Okay, next up we have cost. So Web Hosting Hub is going to start at $84. That's their cheapest plan and that's billed annually. SiteGround starts at $47 and that's also billed annually. And WP Engine being the kind of the, the big guy here, he starts at $35 and that's billed monthly. Okay. Okay, so there's the cost comparison. Refund policy. Web Hosting Hub has a 90-day refund policy. SiteGround has a 30-day refund policy. WP Engine has a 60-day refund policy. Okay, now, the hosting offer. Don't forget, this is the kind of hosting, the different types of hosting that the hosts provide. Web Hosting Hub only provides or only offers what's referred to as shared hosting. 
SiteGround, by comparison, offers all kinds of different types of web hosting. They offer shared hosting, something called cloud hosting, dedicated hosting, enterprise hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. They offer so many. In fact, you can see I had a hard time squeezing it all into the cell there. Anyway, and then WP Engine, they also only offer one kind of hosting called managed WordPress hosting. Okay. Okay. Now, can you upgrade your hosting? Well, because Web Hosting Hub only offers shared hosting, you can't upgrade to anything other than the only thing that they provide. Same thing holds true with WP Engine. You can't get something that they don't offer or upgrade to something that they don't offer. But SiteGround, yes, indeed. So with SiteGround, if you signed up for a shared plan, then later on down the road, as you grow, as your business grows, you could upgrade to another kind of hosting. All right. Okay, next up, built-in email, Web Hosting Hub, yes. SiteGround, yes, absolutely. Those two hosts have built-in email, even though I don't recommend that you use it. Then WP Engine, no, they do not offer email. You will need to use some kind of a third-party uh, business-grade email service, something like Google G Suite or Microsoft uh, Office 365, something like that. Check your show notes for some links for third-party business-grade email services. Okay, Next, cPanel interface. Web Hosting Hub and SiteGround do use the cPanel interface, if that's something of interest for you. For WP Engine, they have a proprietary interface, okay? Okay, how about multiple websites? Well, as far as Web Hosting Hub is concerned, yes, you can run multiple websites. With their basic plan, you're allowed to run up to two sites. You can run an unlimited number of sites with their other plans. As far as SiteGround is concerned, yes, you can run multiple websites. You get one site with their basic plan and unlimited number of websites with their other plans. And finally, WP Engine. Yes, you can run multiple websites with WP Engine. Their basic plan starts with one site and you can add more and their other plans support multiple sites as well. Okay. All right. Now, how about website backups? Do they provide any kind of a backup service, a data backup service or a website backup service? Well, as far as Web Hosting Hub is concerned, uh, yes, they do. It's an add-on feature. It costs you a buck a month to be able to do that. SiteGround has daily data backups, which is awesome. And so does WP Engine as well. But again, don't get too hung up on site backups because I can show you a whole bunch of different ways that we can automate this or even pull manual backups for our website. But it is nice to have. Could be something that you're interested in. Okay, SSL. What can we do here? Well, don't forget, this is going to be required if you want to accept credit card transactions on your website. A basic SSL is included with Web Hosting Hub, an SSL is included with SiteGround, and an SSL certificate is also included with all of WP Engine's plans. So yes, across the board there. All right, now how about a CDN? Well, with Web Hosting Hub, you have to use a third-party CDN. Don't forget, that's our content delivery network. So you'd have to use a third-party uh, CDN, maybe like Cloudflare or something like this. With SiteGround, we have a CDN built-in, and that's provided by Cloudflare, which is great. And finally, WP Engine, they have a CDN available. It's included with all except their basic plans if memory serves. You might want to double-check me on that. But that's the deal there if CDN is something that is of interest for you. Okay, staging servers. Web Hosting Hub does not have staging servers, which is really too bad. Once you learn about staging servers and figure out how they work, it's a bit of a bummer. But anyway, SiteGround has staging servers, but it's only available for their top most plan or their top tier plan. Okay. And as far as WP Engine is concerned, yes, they do have staging servers. I put in there amazing because they are. I've got a tutorial on that again, which I mentioned earlier. Check the show notes if you're interested. Okay, last but not least, we have site migration. All three web hosts offer site migration. So Web Hosting Hub will move your website from an existing web server to their web servers for you at, I don't think there's a cost to it. Uh, you might want to double check on that. Same with SiteGround. They'll move your site for you as well. I know for sure SiteGrounds is free because I've used it once or twice in the past and it's amazing. I got to tell you about this just really quickly. 
I hop on to a, a chat support. I say, hey, I have this website. It's currently hosted with this other hosting company. I want to move it to your servers. They say, sure, no problem. Go have lunch and come back in two hours and it'll be done. So I went and had lunch and I came back two hours later and it was done. It was amazing. Incredible. And then last but not least, WP Engine, of course, they also have a site migration, which actually makes use of a proprietary plugin that they have. And I've used that a few times in the past, which runs very smoothly as well. So there's our rundown of our small, medium, and large web hosting recommendations. Again, we had Web Hosting Hub, SiteGround, and WP Engine. Now, I get it. I know that this comparison wasn't totally and completely exhaustive. We'd be here for another half hour or 45 minutes or something. But hopefully what I've given you here has provided you with enough information to at least point you in the right direction to at least get you started with this stuff. If you think one of these web hosts, one of these recommended web hosts will be a good fit for you and for your business, again, I keep saying check the show notes. Check the show notes because what I have also down there for you is a video tutorial for each of these web hosting options that walks you through the entire setup process for you. I've got one for Web Hosting Hub, one for SiteGround, and one for WP Engine. So if you think one of these might be a good fit, go ahead and check out those further resources. All right. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had some fun here with me. Now, I've got something else for you as well. On 10 Ton Online here, I have a free video course, which is perfect for online business owners and creative folks and self-marketers, things like this. You can go and check out this free video course over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. Head on over there and enroll in your course and we can take all of this discussion about online business and getting yourself set up properly. We can take it all even further. So I look forward to seeing you there. All right, that's it for today. That's it for now. I hope you have a good one and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. 